Tuesday the 1st of September, first day of spring, and our bottling day. Now normally I'm not that nervous on a bottling day, but I gotta be honest, today I'm a little bit apprehensive. We've squeezed in the last eight weeks what normally takes most wineries three to six months to do. So I'm at the bottler now. I've been inside, the wine's here and it tastes great. The labels are here, the caps are here, the cartons are here, everything's ready to go. And so the magic begins. And it's quite a simple process. The bottles are first washed and then filled. Now, if you remember last week, we had our screw caps produced. Well, here they are ready to be put up a conveyor belt and spun onto our bottles. There's me pretending I'm checking things. I did spot one particularly nervous bottle shaking in his boots. Now finally labelling and it was at this moment that the anticipation and the excitement starting to build because this eight week project was coming to an end and the final product was about to roll off the line. And there it is and I must say I was very happy with what I saw. Now this being such a small bottling, it is very manual and so the bottles themselves are actually put into the six packs by hand and there they'll rest for the next couple of weeks before we make them available for sale. Now what do you say does this final product really look like? Well, let's check it out. So the bottlings are done and dusted. The wines are now resting in bottle and we'll give them a bit of time to recover from the bottling. Out of interest, this is one of the three packs. So we've made six packs, but also three packs. So we can ship the wine to people in three packs. And these look great. They only arrived here in the warehouse today. As for the labels themselves, I'm really happy how they came out. And if you ever look at the Barossa, for example, it's got really deep, dark colors on the label, which reflects the darker style of fruit actually in the wine. And you compare that to the McLaren Vale, which has more brighter, more cherry characters in the label, which of course is reflected in the wine itself. So they're very, very emblematic of what's in the bottle. I know these wines are gonna impress people. I'm excited to hear the feedback and reviews when people start tasting the wines in their own homes. And until the next video, I wish you cheers and farewell.